This is what it feels like to find your loved one among the bodies pulled from the water. And for most here, it's the same story. A few lucky ones survived. The ferry overturned very fast and covered us. I was lucky that I was able to swim under the water, not knowing where I was swimming. As I was swimming to safety, I found a number of metal bars that cut my face and back of my head. A ferry made for a hundred people had more than twice that on board. It was coming into dock when it capsized on Thursday. In the following hours, 40 people were rescued alive. Since then, rescue workers have been recovering the dead. Then, nearly two days after the boat tipped, the unimaginable, one more survivor found, the boat's engineer. He was trapped underneath. Navy divers heard him knocking and pulled him out. People here are wondering how it was allowed to happen. And it's not the first time Ferries capsized in 2011 and 2012 between the Tanzanian mainland and the islands of Zanzibar. Hundreds died. Boats are often in poor condition and overloaded. There is a need for regulation to make sure that the, the captain knows exactly how many people he has on board and to limit the number of people. Uh, and then there is another effort to do in terms of uh, rescue capacities, uh, especially for a capsizing accident where um, it's really, really fast. Here on the Ugandan side of the lake, the regulations say that all boat passengers are meant to wear life jackets. We've been given some to ride in this boat, although not in brilliant condition. You can see some more over here, but often there aren't enough to go around. It's difficult for the authorities to enforce the rules. The lake's vast, about 300 kilometers long. Its waterways are crucial for trade, but everyone here is working on a tight budget. Boats are kept running for decades before they're retired. This one stopped running after it collided with another in 2005. Back in Tanzania, relatives wait for the bodies of loved ones. A whole community deeply traumatized. The president ordered the boat's operators to be arrested, but even if they face justice, it won't bring loved ones back. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Port Bell, Uganda.